Hello guys, you're welcome back to Photographics Academy. Alright, today we'll have something very interesting for you. We're going to be looking at how to add shines and flows and glamour to your image. So it's going to be just a little lengthy, but if you feel you do not want to go through all that procedure, we are going to be dropping a free action for you that you can just use and do it in a few seconds right inside your Photoshop. But just before we do that, we are going to be teaching you exactly how you can achieve it manually so you can have manual controls of them when you do it yourself. All right, so without wasting any time, if you don't know how to install actions in your Photoshop, just go and check the video, the link, the link of the video in the description. You are going to learn exactly how to install actions and use them in Photoshop. But for this video, we are learning how to use the action on our globe, on our skin, it's just to click and it will play. But before we do that, let's get started and learn how to do it manually. So to do it manually, it's going to just take a little time. All you need to do is create a curves adjustment layer, increase the brightness a little. So the idea is that you are going to be targeting a specific part of the image per time. So for this, for this one, we're going to be targeting the cheek. So just increase the brightness a little like this. Yeah. Then double click on the layer. It's going to open up Blendy for you. So now we are hiding the, hide the shadows from the highlights. We are hiding the shadows from the highlights. And to do that, you need to drag this point here all the way to the left until it starts breaking. So as you are dragging it, be looking at just the cheek. Once the cheek is cool, with the, once you are okay with the highlight, you stop. So I think I like it here. So now it's looking rough. To make it look smooth and realistic, press your alternate and split this into two. So drag this one back, drag this one forward. It's going to smoothen out that transition for you like that. Press OK, press Ctrl I on the mask rather. Press Ctrl I. So rename this Chi. So you just call this, hold on a little please. So you just call this Chick. Chick. Is that the right spelling? <laughs> All right, so let's just leave it at that. Now, we should have duplicated these curves into different uh, layers so we can reuse. So, but we missed that step. So we're going to retrace it. But before we do that, let's paint our highlights into the cheek. So just take your brush, paint only on the cheek, no other area, just on the cheek like that. Reduce the opacity, obviously, like that. So we'll have the shine on the cheek before, after, before, after. So just like that, just use your brush and paint it in before, after. Drop it down a little. Now create one more curves adjustment layer. So now you've created the curve, duplicate it into four. One, two, three, four. So we'll go for the first one. I'll actually close this one so it doesn't affect you. Now, so take up your highlights again. Now we are targeting the nose like that. Double click on the layer to open up the blend if. By the way, this video was inspired by Umesh of Pigs Imperfect. Umesh did that. He's, he's the inspiration behind this video. Amazing YouTube instructor. Amazing YouTube instructor. You can go check him out. All right, so now we've targeted just the nose like that. We've targeted just the nose. We're painting just on the nose. Press OK. So on the mask, press Ctrl I. Paint into the nose, just the nose. Yeah, like that. Of course, we're dropping down the opacity. So we'll just do it like this over all the image. Like that's nice. Just the nose. So the next one, we'll call this nose. Let me just call it N. So the next one, we'll open it up, increase the highlights. So this is for the forehead. So we'll double click. Just keep repeating the same procedure for the forehead. Yeah, like that. It's shining already. So we'll split. Make sure you are not spreading into the shadows like that. I love that. Press OK. Control I. Control I. Just paint into the forehead. Reduce the opacity, obviously. So it doesn't get too much. So we'll record for the arm. So this is forehead F. So we'll record for the arm. Highlights increase on the arm. Double click. Like that, beautiful. You'll spread it out. 
Let's make sure you have that soft transition. I love this one here. Press OK. Control I. Paint over the arm only. Like that. Over the arm. Because you need to drop down the opacity. So let's see if it will work on the other part of the arm as well. Okay, so I think this is not bad. This group, I love this one here too. So we'll just use that same one for the two arm. Okay, so we'll just rim this A for arm. So the last one, maybe we can just use this and target the hair. Target the hair like that. Double click. Um, just for the hair. Because the way it's already glowing. Press OK, Control I. Stay on the mask, Control I, then paint over the hair like that. Beautiful. Let's paint over the hair like that. Uh, I think we can can try for the lips. So let's just create one more curves adjustment layer for the lips this time around. Just that shine in the lips, yes. Just that shine on the lips like that. Press Control I. Just paint over the lips, just the lips. Yes. Okay, so I think we missed one part, the cheek down here. So the jaw rather. Let's create for the jaw. So just take your time and create for all the amazing highlights you want to have in your image. I think I like it. See, I'm going to be using this one both for the jaw and the uh, left cheek it's going to work for the two and the left cheek here maybe so that it yeah okay so we are cool nice 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 so let me group all of them into one group and see what we have done so far so this is before this is after if it's too much you can just drop it down a little so one more thing we can do is to add shadow to the image one of the ways to make your dimensions pop if you add highlight, you straightly add shadow. So just darken this down a little. Double click. You can repeat the same procedure for every part of the skin. But I'll just do a random one like this. Just a random shadow adding that will just add dimension to the overall image. So this is before, this is after. Just drop it down a little. Nice. So we'll add it before, after. You can group the two of them together inside a particular group. So we can see the two of them working together. So this is before, this is after, before, after. Amazing skin glow. Now, for the bonus. Now you're going to notice that it's not going to produce the same result. So let me just take a snapshot of this. Let me just take a snapshot of this. Hold on. All right, so we'll have this here. Should be up. Okay, so we we'll have this snapshot. We can delete this one now. Let me apply the, the action glow. So have it run beautiful. So you can just duplicate it to get a stronger effect. You can just duplicate to have a stronger effect. Look at it before, if before, after, before, after. Interesting. So just drop down the opacity a little and you have a beautiful result. So let me just compare it between the snapshot one. All right. So this is it with curves. This is it with curves. This is it with curves. This is it without curves this is it with curves the one we did with curves before after before after this is the one we did with action let me play it again action right here so let me just take a snapshot of the action as well so we can be able to look at the two of them at the same time okay so i'll just jump down your opacity a little well after I just take the two like this nice somewhere here i think it's too much we'll just close this okay so we'll just close this down increase this a little nice well before and after let's create a snapshot as well so we'll have the two of them created as a snapshot let's go and look at it together so this is for action this is for action before and after this is for curves this is for action this is for curves i prefer the curves gives that amazing realistic glow effect but if you feel you do not have all the time to go through it the way we did just use the action 
thank you very much for watching this amazing video make sure you subscribe to our youtube channel ring the bell button to get notified every single time we we'll drop a new video see you on our next video